Number one, Elon Musk, the South African born entrepreneur, renowned as the richest man globally, embarked on his journey to success with ventures like Zip P2 and X.com. Musk's relentless pursuit led to pivotal roles in Tesla and SpaceX, solidifying his influence in electric vehicles and space exploration. His strategic investments and innovative vision propelled Tesla's ascendancy, culminating in its inclusion in the S&P 500 in December 2020. Musk's dynamic leadership fueled Tesla's growth, with its valuation mirroring his fluctuating fortunes, making him the world's wealthiest person in January 2021. However, his ambitious bid to privatize X met with twists and turns, marked by legal battles and strategic maneuvers, ultimately resulting in a successful buyout in October 2022. Musk's indomitable spirit and foresight continue to shape the trajectory of cutting-edge technologies, solidifying his legacy as a visionary entrepreneur. Number two. In 1994, Jeff Bezos kickstarted Amazon.com from his Seattle garage after departing from D.E. Shaw. Despite initially pitching the idea to his former boss, David E. Shaw, who showed no interest, Bezos forged ahead with his vision of an online bookstore. Amazon's evolution from bookseller to global retail juggernaut underscores Bezos's knack for innovation, with projections suggesting it will surpass Walmart as the world's largest retailer by 2024. Noteworthy expansions, like the acquisition of Whole Foods in 2017 and forays into the pharmacy sector, highlight Amazon's relentless diversification strategy. Bezos' stake in Amazon peaked at 16% in 2019, though he transferred 4% to his ex-wife, Mackenzie Scott, during their divorce proceedings. Amid the COVID-19 surge in online shopping, Amazon's stock soared by 76% in 2008. Stepping down as CEO in July 2021, Bezos assumed the role of executive chair, continuing his focus on ventures like Blue Origin, The Washington Post, and the ambitious 10,000-year clock project. Notably, in July 2021, Bezos and companions embarked on Blue Origin's inaugural crude flight, reaching remarkable altitudes. Bezos's wealth peaked at a staggering $213 billion in the same month, underscoring his status as one of the world's wealthiest individuals. In 2023, Bezos made headlines again, splurging $500 million on the acquisition of the superyacht Koru, further cementing his extravagant lifestyle. Number three. Bernard Arnault, the French magnet, commands the helm as the chair and CEO of LVMH, a powerhouse in the luxury goods industry. LVMH boasts a portfolio of prestigious brands such as Louis Vuitton, Hennessy, Marc Jacobs, and Sephora. Arnold's wealth primarily stems from his substantial stake in Christian Dior SE, which holds a commanding 41.4% interest in LVMH. Through his family-owned holding company, Group Familial Arnault, he also controls an additional 6.2% of LVMH. Trained as an engineer, Arnault honed his entrepreneurial skills at his father's construction firm, Ferry Savinel before transforming it into a real estate entity named Farinell Inc. in 1979. Arnaud's strategic acumen shone brighter as he reorganized luxury goods manufacturer Financier Agache in 1984, retaining only Christian Dior and Le Bon Marché. Invited to invest in LVMH in 1987, Arnaud swiftly ascended to become its majority shareholder, chair of the board, and CEO by 1989. His visionary leadership continues to propel LVMH to unprecedented heights in the realm of luxury and fashion. Number four, Mark Zuckerberg, famously known for co-founding Facebook, now Meta, with his Harvard University peers Eduardo Saverin, Dustin Moskovitz, and Chris Hughes in 2004, made the bold decision to drop out of Harvard as the platform gained traction beyond the university's confines. Today, Zuckerberg stands as the CEO and chair of Meta overseeing a behemoth with 3 billion monthly active users as of Q2 2023. Facebook, the flagship platform of Meta, reigns as the world's largest social networking service, primarily monetized through advertising due to its free-to-use model. Meta's expansive portfolio includes Instagram, acquired in 2012, WhatsApp and Oculus, both acquired in 2014, along with Workplace and Portal, 
rounding out its diverse offerings. In 2015, Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan founded the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, where they jointly serve as co-CEOs. This philanthropic endeavor aims to harness technology's potential to address pressing societal challenges, such as educational access and quality, criminal justice reform, immigration reform, affordable housing, and the ultimate aspiration of eradicating all diseases. Through their combined vision and resources, Zuckerberg and Chan are actively reshaping the landscape of philanthropy and social impact. Number five. Bill Gates embarked on his entrepreneurial journey while studying at Harvard University in 1975, collaborating with childhood friend Paul Allen to pioneer new software for early microcomputers. This endeavor laid the foundation for Microsoft as Gates made the pivotal decision to drop out of Harvard during his junior year and co-found the company with Allen. Microsoft has since burgeoned into the world's largest software company, diversifying its offerings to include personal computers, email services through its exchange server, video game systems, and an extensive investment in cloud services. Gates transitioned from CEO to board chair of Microsoft in 2008, while also joining the board of Berkshire Hathaway in 2004. However, on March 13, 2020, Gates stepped down from both boards, marking a significant shift in his professional commitments. Gates's substantial net worth is primarily managed through Cascade Investment LLC, a privately held investment vehicle. Cascade's portfolio spans various stocks, including Canadian National Railway, CNR, Deer, DE, and Republic Services, RSG, alongside private investments in real estate and energy. This strategic approach underscores Gates's prudent wealth management strategy and his diversified investment interests beyond the technology sector. 